My name is Eihiro Yoshi. I'm a head chef at Sasabune, Beverly Hills. I've been a chef for about, um, about 12, 13 years. And before I met Nobi, I had a ponytail with a mohawk because I wanted to stand out, I wanted to grab more attention. I had an attitude as well. I met Nobi, and Nobi's the one taught me beyond the skill level, kind of mental, he made me a different person. It's like something you can't learn off the textbook or anything. I just by watching him doing his job, his attitude, how he have a love for this customer, how, how much passion he has to this job. I never seen the sushi from that point of view. We handed out each pieces with our passion. We're just thinking about the customers. So something like that, I never, you know, nobody's the one taught me all this. And then he tells me, eye to eye, first, he's the chef, first chef that I, he tells me something, eye, eye to eye, you know. And so we do Edomae style, which is, you know, Tokyo. Nigiri's, you know, the sushi, this form of sushi is Tokyo style. I want to take over the traditional Nobi's style Edomae sushi, but I, I want to I want to have a little bit of twist it with the Angelino flavor because I've been here for like half of my life. So I have a almost, you know, half Japanese, half Angelino. So I have to bring a, uh, my own flavor to it. The reason why I left Japan was, uh, you know, Japan is, uh, people think it's a beautiful country from the outside. You know, we have a hell of a technology and everything, but uh, the society in Japan is, it's, the school system, everything is almost like a very industri industrialized. So, you know, same uniform, same haircut, you know. Uh, somehow I couldn't, I didn't understand, I didn't fit in. You know, I decided to come to LA because, uh, you know, I was all into uh, rock and rolls and, you know, all this. You know, it seems like everything comes from LA. And LA is a big city. So I came here with the, I remember I had a $1,700 in my pocket. And then I have no contact no friends whatsoever. I wanted to start it from the bottom and I want to try myself. So I just threw myself in to this city. I wanted to find out who I am, you know, who am I supposed to be? I don't know, it's like one city, but it has a lot of different borders, different races, different culture. That, that's why it makes this country great. But um, that's how I find out, okay, I'm Japanese now. So I better be like one of them. You have to represent yourself. Otherwise they don't accept me. So it's not, Shame to be a sushi chef. I better be a badass sushi I'm sorry, I can't say that. <laughs> I should be a badass sushi chef in LA. That's what I'm going to be. You know, Chef Nobi, he create, you know, the basic, this omakase, trust me style to, you know, he's the probably first one that, you know, just give him only nigiri sushi, not the rolls or anything. And now, you know, people in Los Angeles, they appreciate, they, they enjoy sushi like, you know, they're like Japanese, you know? And that's why I'll be able to, I don't have to do rolls, you know, like the rainbow rolls and none of that no more. And, you know, I could be the chef that I wanted to be. I always, I would tell all, all my chef friends, like, hey, Nobi, he's the one who created the whole thing. So if you're into hip hop, you know, I call him, he's a, you know, the Dr. Dre in the, in the sushi industry. And I'll be the Snoop Dogg, so, you know. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>